Hi, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how you turn off Skype uh, notifications on a, a Mac OS X, okay? Um, I've been used to um, having a Windows computer for a very, very long time and um, basically I just got a Mac there uh, last week and it's been, it was driving me crazy for a few days until I finally figured out how to turn the notifications off and um, so I've made this quick video just to basically show you how to turn your Skype notifications off on Mac OS X okay so what you'll do is you just click on Skype and basically log into Skype so I've just clicked on it and it just basically um, You can click up here and just go to the Skype homepage or wherever you want, it doesn't matter for your contacts, okay? So if you, now this is the part that got me, I couldn't find any uh, buttons whatsoever. I couldn't find any buttons whatsoever to do anything, right? But um, if you go up to the very top here and you just hover your mouse over here, you'll see this thing here comes, okay? So all you do is, uh, you basically go to your contacts and go to the group that you don't want to get notifications from. Okay, so say I don't want to get notifications for this group. Okay, I'll just click on this group, like so. Hover up to the top of the page and when that comes down, just click on conversations. And then just click notification settings okay and then just click here and change it from notify me to do not notify me or you can also change it to notify me only if these words are mentioned so you can put a word if it's mentioned that it'll notify you but it won't notify you otherwise okay so i'm just going to put don't notify me and okay and that means from now on you know when all these people in these groups start sending all these messages out um, I won't be disturbed. I won't be notified at all. Okay, so that's basically uh, how you turn your notifications off on a Mac for your Skype. Thanks very much. If you haven't already, if you'd like to just uh, click the button below, um, you can get my 101 blog and tips video series, which will give you loads of other uh, useful tips for when you're doing stuff online. Thanks very much.